episode 31 of Common Comic Covers uh, Appreciation Podcast for non comics. I'm Jeremy, and on my screen, laughing hard, wheezing, is Andy. Say something there, Andy. Hello. I'm happy to be on your program, Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We uh, apologize ahead of time for this episode, but while you're here, like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Uh, we're a little haggard, you know, we're recording this uh, after a long weekend, but we're excited to talk some comic books because yeah. when life deals you hard things, um, escape yeah. the mid nineties and eighties oh. comic books. Yeah, it's it's uh, past my bedtime, or it's yeah. actually it's my comic book reading time right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, let's get going, Andy. What's your comic cover this week? Oh man, it's not a comic cover at all, <laughs> but it's uh, way, to, way, to, way to start us off. Yeah, it's the Beyond. I bought, I ended up getting this comic book a couple weeks ago, and and then I was like, oh, I should pull this out and show it on the uh, website. Uh, or you've showed podcast. us you've showed us Beyond before, haven't you? Is that the one with the werewolf on the yeah. front cover? Yeah, you've bought a yeah. couple of them. Yeah, so this is part of my uh, my great uncle's. He collected the Ace Horror, specifically the Beyond. So I've been collecting the Beyond, uh, and this is number eighteen. And it was uh, the covers by Gene Colan, and it's uh, you know a classic, uh, typical that's, uh, that's early man. Gene Colan. He was around, I think, up through the 80s. So that's amazing, if not more. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I know he was definitely around in the 70s. <clears throat> yes. So this is uh, January of 53. Oh, this wow. came out. Um, and this is not his first work. I was looking, as like he did stuff on Wings comics in like the 40s. So, um, <clears throat> but it's a, it's a woman in the red dress. He's, carrying her away and then there's like these phoenix uh birds that are what is uh what's the caption there what's the bubble conversation oh it's just something about like you know have you something about you, you cannot escape there. me for those who link their lives with the phoenix must die by fire mm. amen yeah. that was amen. the sermon today in church you went to church good no i did not <laughs> <laughs> but that could that could be uh, a sermon right there. That, mm, don't. Preach it. <laughs> we both went to Bible college, so we have all sorts of baggage. Scars. 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 That, you have to scream it. Scars. All right. It's my turn. Okay. Hey, yeah. uh, not, I mean, probably up there with your beyond. Coming at you from 1986. Yeah. Yeah, 1986. Classic X Men number four. Fun. There Fun. You, go. you got Storm. This is a this is cool. This is an Art Adams cover. Cool. Yeah, Art Adams and Craig Russell. It is so. If you don't know X Men or classic X Men, there's a reprint, and then there's usually a new backup story. So this reprints X Men number 96, which mm -hmm. is great. Great Cl Chris Claremont. And then the backup story is also Chris Claremont. And it's a great, and that's actually why I bought this one. It is a really cool short story with Nightcrawler and Wolverine, which leads to the back cover by John Bolton, oh, which I think is really cool. That is a great, fun cover. Yeah. Yeah. So, Did you say Brian Bolton or Brian? The back, this is John Bolton. John Bolton. Okay. Yeah, John Bolton. I don't know. Hard on the new one. I, I don't know a ton of John Bolton work. No. Okay, that's a cool cover. Yeah, this is the backup story right there. Really cool. These classic X Men X Men's are. I mean, they used to be dollar bin divas left yeah. and right. Um, they're more like you know, I don't know, four or five dollar comic books right now. But they're really fun. They have the reprint, which is cool. Like there's X Men ninety six right there. Yeah. Color reprinted, um, yes. and then the cool backup story. Um, let me show you this page because this was awesome too. The splash page for the backup story. Oh, that is really cool. That is good. Yeah. One thing I didn't like about his back, the back cover, is that I, his Wolverine's claws are a little short for me. I like my my claws long. Well, you you hold on to that then. 
Andy Wood. So that's our common covers for the week. I like mm -hmm. it. Good job. I like your beyond. Um, and Thank you. I mean, come on. I I love I love those classic X Men books. I those do are too. Great. They're new covers. Yeah. yeah, they're a reprint. They're a new story. I mean, these are great finds. If you're into the X Men right now, which who's not? Yeah, these are a blast. You can still find them. I don't know how many came out. Quite a few came out. Um, but they're awesome. They're great. They're great. Uh, great yeah, little. They went, they I, know, I, think I think they're a little undervalued, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, maybe underappreciated, and maybe not undervalued. May, yeah. Uh, but I, I think they did go up in pr price like during the comic book boom, but yeah, um, we'll come back down. I have a oh man, I had a question for you now. I can't remember. Oh no, the okay. answer is seven, seven forty two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, oh yeah, okay. Well, let me let me show you my dog and pony show, which is yeah, yeah, where we show off something that we have or like or whatever. So <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So it's I got um, I ended up getting the Batman yeah, sixty six yeah. you know I had I ended yeah, up the big I, run yeah so I bought a a lot which had a lot of copies of what I had but I had one two and three and I so I still need four so I've read one and two this is a cool cover um it's a, it's a fun it's a fun read you um and it's funny because I had that peacemaker uh books that i read last read last for last week and it's like i'm watching a show and then i'm reading books like derived from that show like you know it's kind of funny or at least i think that that's how the peacemaker was well but um but these are great um and they're you know mike allred covers um yeah just fun Fun books, and I, I was looking into it, and the last the last book in the series, which I think is thirty, is kind of an expensive book. It's like I think it just didn't have a lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, what is that called? Scarcity. Like they didn't make enough of them. Man, I'm good at this this game. And then I had something else I want to show. I want to show off this. This is these are cool. Um, these are my the photo journal guide to comic books is a Gerber and these are not, not to be confused with Steve Gerber. No, these are much better. I mean, much different. I'm um, sorry, Jeremy. And they have a really cool back cover too. Like and these have been around since what the eighties. Yeah. I think these came out in the eighties. Yeah. And they didn't like come out and then come out again. It's just, they came out once. I'm pretty sure. And they have like, <laughs> I was just reading is like, there's blank spots in your your uh, your book, and we'll send you uh, stickers to, once we get uh, what that image is. Oh, that's well, awesome! Once we find the cover, once we find a cover yeah. of it, yeah, we'll send it to you. But um, the person who purchased these before me uh, didn't get those. I don't know how, if that actually ever came. So I have a volume I one. Found, and volume two. Um, I found this website called eBay that so maybe maybe if you. Uh, oh. Uh, it's not Google, but search uh, sticker for Gerber. You might find something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I like I like those good uh, random dog and pony show. My dog and pony show is uh, truly random. We're gonna stick. Uh, we're gonna go. Well, I guess my other one was eighty six. This is nineteen ninety. I just like this cover. I like the artist. It's one of my favorite nineteen nineties artists. Ron Lim coming at you, Captain America three seventy four. Oh wow. It's bullseye with a sigh. Yeah. He's got cap on the ground with his hand. I mean, it just, I don't know. I like yeah. bullseye. Bullseye is usually in daredevil. So it's kind of a cool little crossover to see him in Captain America. I'm sure he's made plenty of Captain America appearances. As a newsstand too. Yeah, it's a newsstand. It's in, it was actually, I think I got this in a dollar bin at some point in my life. It's a Grunewald <laughs> story. They're okay. not great, but yeah, I don't know. I bought this because of the cover. Yeah. I don't regret it. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Well, Andy, we haven't done something in a while. You, uh, I think you, you've been sick. So you have not gone on a blind date with a dollar bin comic book in quite a while. So <laughs> I, I haven't been sick. I've been married. That's a <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, I don't, 
I don't know what that means. Well, you I, said a, a date. And I, can't go into I don't know if I've done this one before. If I have, <laughs> no one will ever know. If I have, okay. say something in the comments. Um, yeah, speaking of which, I was going back through our old episodes. And I was like, wow, who's this person that's always been leaving comments? Like, really cool. And I was going back through and I didn't mm-hmm. recognize the name. And then I like clicked it. And I was like, oh, it's Jeanette. That's awesome. Thanks, Jeanette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's always much appreciated so all right you ready so yeah. andy uh andy doesn't know what book i'm reading doesn't know the character and he's gonna give it uh he's gonna give two scores a score on the the story like yeah that was good i'd keep reading uh or or no mm-hmm. hence the blind date <clears throat> and then he's gonna give me the score on uh how i read it which is usually I don't know because I've never read this one either. So, setting the stage, we're at a high school. We're in a hallway, a high school. Uh-huh. Picture, um, it's kind of like Chung Wen Jump Street where they're supposed to be 16, but they're probably 30. Um, and lockers. Okay, you got a bay of lockers right here. And action. I won't read the, the, the narrative, I'll just read the dialogue. Hmm. Heads up, Logan, your locker door is blocking the way. Whoa, Cameron, you slammed the door in Rena's head. Ow! Rena, head, rubbing mm. her head there. Gosh, Rena, are you all right? She's overreacting, Colin, fishing for sympathy. That's a nasty cut. We should wash it out. Really, I'm okay. Will you hurry up? My dad's chauffeur is coming to pick me up. Don't you want to lift a country club? <laughs> This will only That's, take a second. Say the Century Club. No, the Country Club. Country Club. Country. Okay. Country Club. Yeah. Okay. So this is now uh, the 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 girl that got her head uh, slammed in the locker, and then yeah. the guy, the guy, not the the girl. Logan. Or, yeah, Logan. Yeah. Ugh, there's no cut. Not even a scar. It's genetic. My mm. dad's a fast healer. <laughs> is this NYX three? The first appearance of uh, Wolverine's daughter. Uh, I don't know. I end. It is. You're. Th- I mean, you're there. It is wild, wild thing. thing number one. Oh wow! And, and keeping with it, guess who does the cover? Ron Lim. Of Ron course. Lim. Why not? And this is, you know, wow. Dog okay, so it's, uh, it's coming out. It's yeah. barely hanging on by a okay. staple. Yeah, who wrote this. Guess who wrote it? Steve Gerber. No, Larry Hama. Oh, okay. This yeah, is I was Larry like... Hama and Ron Lim. I mean, these they went. Yeah. Okay. So my scores are. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. The dialogue was super annoying, but that's probably how I'd feel about listening to high school kids talk. So pretty good in that regard. Um, Wow, who does the interior since limb limb okay it's not this best part. um <laughs> um i think and you did fine you did good so i would say uh seven six point okay. five story and then a seven eight oh three. wow wow really you just fell asleep on the date you yeah. just yawned oh no i said the eight is good uh, ten ten is Tennis. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna keep reading that one. Yeah, I keep I would keep going some. I uh, don't know. If, I think this is her first appearance. You think she's in a, her has a that, different first appearance? That's a that's a that's not the uh, oh I know that is not the Wolverine daughter that we're yeah, talking about. I like yeah. that it's now this is the this is the real Wolverine daughter. That's the wild thing, real one. She probably oh, turns out to be a clone or something. Uh, really. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I don't think I've read it. I don't even know how many came out in this run. So okay. many. All right. Yeah. Well, we oh. uh, we have some more thing. We have more show yeah. to do. I have a question for you. I'm ready. What would you pick between these two wonderful books? Let's see. So this is our brackets. Last week I picked Wolverine yeah. number one. And you don't know what books these are. Okay, you saw. And you have to Jimbo. pick first appearance. Yeah, so Albedo number two. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's a pretty cool book. And, and it's awesome covers. Yeah. 
And then we got this one here. Okay. Oh, man. That hits me in two different spots. Okay. <laughs> I mean, wow. Yeah. It's, I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan, but I like McFarlane and it's Spider-Man 300. Yeah. Um, which is the first full appearance of Venom. First appearance is two ninety nine. Uh, they say like yeah, cameo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm gonna go. I I feel like the the first appearance you saw you Jimbo is actually more rare. Oh opinion. yeah, definitely so more rare. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to saw you Jimbo. Yeah, yeah. I'll be it on the two. That's what I would do too. I mean, I've yeah. owned the a copy of three hundred and. I feel like once I own a comic book, I can sell it and not often regret it. Yeah. Okay. Unless I really love it. So, but yeah, Albedo number two, I think that would be a really fun book to own. And that's a great book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And as Ringo Starr says, peace, love, peace, love. 